Guy next to next to me has a girl. <laughs> He's my hero. He's awesome. <laughs> nah, it's cool. So um just came in from uh the pet store and um I got the Rachel Ray stuff. Let me show it on video. Sure, it's a vlog, but you know what? Why the fuck not? Even though it's a vlog. I got the package I got uh the package deal. Like fifteen bucks for these chuck babies. Oh yeah. <laughs> I got one appetizer. I was gonna. It's like twelve dollars for it's. You save like three, four dollars if you get the bundle. You know, this isn't no uh, department store <laughs> either. I didn't go to Costco or something like, you know, or BJ's. You know, but um, it saved like three dollars, and you know they they're actually pretty decent, I believe. You know, it says you got vitamins and minerals. I don't trust the front package. I always look at the ingredients. A lot of stuff I understand, but they. Uh, they make generic stuff that's supposed to be good for cats, and my cat loved it. You know, she actually loved it, so it's cool. I got it in a bundle. That's that's the reason, only reason why I came out. I went to the liquor store. Here is the place when I went on January six. You know, the January six, the insurrection, like they called it. You know, and you know, it's like you know, I heard a Yannick say, uh, "You know what could happen?" And I got I remember drinking. I didn't know what was going on. I didn't. I wasn't watching YouTube or anything like that. And I just got angry about my dead relatives, my cousin Monica and uh, her mom and dad. It's like, it said there was like, it's like people didn't even care about that. Maybe I was just angry about a lot of stuff. Like I'm still not over that, you know. Like I'm still not over about Rascal, my bearded dragon, how he was taken. I don't think the person even cares for it, you know. I had to pay her money to take him in. I gave her all the accessories. Like people were pushing me not to not to feed the little guy, you know. Like you're, you're you know, you have. You have no uh, compassion or anything like that. And January 6th, I was here at this plaza, you know. And uh, I went home, and it's like, you know, I think I just saw it on TV. Something was going on. And uh, my, mom, my mom said, I was like, yeah, I know. So I think it was like a channeling thing. Like, I was channeling the anger. I was just so freaking angry. I, I, I remember why I was saying I was drinking. You know, I drank like a, I, I think I bought a six-pack. You know, like people were trying to stop me from drinking so I won't be angry or something like that. You know, and it's like, go fuck yourself. I'm angry for a reason, you, you idiot. And it was just like, it, it, it was just horrible. You know, except, kind of remember, like, it, it wasn't too hot. You know, I remember the sun was shining. I remember that, you know. I don't know. It's like, maybe it was the day, pro no, actually, it was that day, I believe, you know. And, yeah, I came here and got here in the morning, and, uh, I, I was just, I guess I was just happy, like, after, you know, to be done with, uh, with, with, with Christmas, especially those people at that house I went to, and just the, 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 uh, New Year's, you know, something like that, you know, I was just happy it was over with, and, uh, I didn't pass away, that I survived, you know. Was I... A hardcore alcoholic back then, probably, definitely. You know, I was so down on myself. Like, no alcohol is the only thing that brought me happiness. And watching YouTube videos and <laughs> watching the videos of like girls dancing and like you know, not too much comedy. Just that's what I was enjoying. Or just watching, listening to music. You know, like happy jovial music. That's why it broke me up. That's why. That's what made me happy. It's like the only good thing I had in my world back then. You know. I didn't go home and just wanted to be angry about stuff. It just so happened my cousin there, Kaika, they call her, she came over and I just started having like an angry fit for some reason. Before that, I was actually fine. It's like I was, you know, we were like connected to one another. I just got so angry and I just kind of, I didn't want to break anything. I just like, stood up. I was like, ah, I was in my room. She, they, they weren't in my room, you know. You know, it's just like, it was just so abnormal. The anger came over. Then I, was, I felt bad. I was like, why the fuck was I so angry over? It was just so weird, you know? You know, then you know, it, it, now it all makes sense to a certain degree. Who instigated it? Who was a part of that? I don't know. Was there a lot of angry people on January 6th? Oh, you better believe it, you know? it was. I don't think it's just about particular one person. I think people are just too negligent and things get out of control. Either people lose their jobs, their homes, their savings, or, you know, they're, they're getting manipulated, they're getting pushed around by law, they're getting pushed around by everybody, and it's like where, we, you know, it's like how can you not be angry, you know? 
like I said, if you replace all replace all the politicians, I don't think it would fix anything. You know, I don't think it would fix anything because there'll be always somebody else who will try to do the same thing or either cheat this and that or manipulate or hurt people. Even if it's done on paper, it doesn't matter. And you can point it to that person, this, that person, what well, a lot of you partake in that. But, um, yeah, I just, I actually, you know, I was like, it was like, you know, it was a I don't know if I was challenging somebody, but the, the guy I worked with, Yannick, was like, you're such a much of stodge. I was, and, and my dad, my dad was telling me, don't drink, because, you know, we're going to lose the house because you drink. I'm like, well, what the fuck? You don't want me to happy anything. It's not like I was getting, you know, drinking, going outside, driving, you know, starting fights with people. I'm sober, and I, I used to get angry people because, you know, they, they, they're, they're, they're not incompassionate. They're empathetic. And, you know, they're so idiotic and, like, you know, it's like they're not that stupid, I believe. You know, a lot of them are just ignorant towards how, how to uh, treat other beings properly. It's like, how can you not get angry over that? Eventually, you know, after the second time in the, in the psychiatric unit, I just I kind of just, you know, I just already knew it. I already saw it. Just like they were so ridiculous, I didn't even care anymore. Even to the doctor, I talked to people were saying, wow, you were not angry. I'm like, I already know the guy. I already know the guy. You know, I did get angry. Uh. At this presumable court case, but it just became like, you know, I was talking fast. I just didn't know what anger to point on. They were just like, you know, there's just so openly like lying under oath. It's just ridiculous. So ridiculous. You know, my life, my peace matters. My peace matters and my freedom matters. Uh, absolutely. I am violating laws. I'm very meticulous about laws. So, you're the one who violates laws, and you should be feeling paranoid, scared. Because I mean, there's anyone coming after you. Because the people of laws don't even care, at least in my understanding. And then there's people that think I'm stupid and idiot because I I could change my uh, vocal cords and I can make faces and I could. I could imitate somebody. That's not stupid. That's a talent, you idiot. It's a idiota. It's like, how, what is the point of you watching a, a comedy or a movie when people are acting foolish when, you know, it's like they're acting, right? Majority of them, I believe, it's like they have a talent. So why do you watch so much with the talent and hate the, not to hate the fact that I'm, because I think a lot of people are envious, but you can't understand what I'm doing. I mean, you just get to the point where just like, you're oblivious to the fact what I'm doing. You're ignorant towards it, but you're so stupid. You don't even understand it. That's why I, mean, I don't make jokes around people because they won't get it. And some people get it and just, you know, I'm making fun of them. But it's like, you know, I mean, you call me an idiot because I can, I can, I can imitate somebody. I can make, make jokes. I mean, you're, 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 you know, you're, you're a paradox. Your life is an oxymoron. I'm not going to get to the point how I, <laughs> that I could clean something, this and that, and the people, oh, we mistook you for an idiot. <laughs> like, bro, you're probably the idiot. This is so simple. It's like, how can you not know how to do dishes? Seventy-five cent lighter. I think they went up. It does hurt my fingertips, you know, from the from this con this contraption. I forget what it's called, but you know, it it's just so rigid, and this is so small. So when I when my finger hits it, you know, it gets it gets worn out. Like I already have a callus here, I believe, on my thumb. You know, it's like I give too many people too too many times up. <laughs> it hurts. <laughs> Something like that. It's such a fool. <laughs> just look at him. Read you put that cell phone down. No more YouTube for you. <laughs> look at the the Elvis of fucking your generation or something. <laughs> Shaking my comedic hips.
Oh, they have a TJ Maxx here. I like that store. Not always, but I like it. Sometimes you find good stuff. I was looking at bowls <laughs> for like, uh, they're for cats. And it was like really good price, like $8, $7.99. And you know what? It had the bottom bamboo and it was a bowl inside. It was just such a, it was the cheapest, but it was just the nicest, you know? Because you could take out the bowl and you could clean it up. I was thinking about getting it for one of my cats. Maybe for all of them. I have, I have like four for them, but they're small. One of my cats, she has a big old belly. She likes to eat plenty. So eventually, I might buy it for her because it was a nice design and it was just so cute. Yeah, I said cute. All right, fine. <laughs> it's weird. But uh, I'm just thinking about just designing my own. Just doing it myself. You know, I had a chisel. You know, I have a chisel, so I might have to chisel it out. Just make a, I don't know, I'm, I don't know if I'm going to do design, like, you know, a cat design, because I had the cat ears, even the bamboo, uh, place, the bamboo placement, you know, it was just so cool, but not going to do it like that, maybe I just buy a separate bowl and just put it, put, uh, put it in the, in the, in the wooden piece that I'm about to chisel out, you know, give me something to do, and it's, uh, it'll take a while, but you know what, I gotta try it, let me see. What else could I do with? I don't know when I get there. Oops, camera moved. But it's like, you know, one of those things. Going back to Yannick over there, you know. Uh, you know oh, Froggy, you're all over the place. My bad. I didn't put you in, in the right place. Oh, you're happy. Cool. But it's like one of the things I kind of respected about the guy. You know, he had a uh, mint. He would grow his own mint. Okay, let me get a froggy in this right place. Ooh, easy peasy now. Easy peasy, drive too e drive so easy. <laughs> All over the place with it. All right, settle down. You good? Uh, one of the things I, I did like about him, he would grow his mint, and he, co he co collected rainwater, you know? Every year, so many inches fall. And here in New Jersey, he lived, you know, not so, uh, not so rural area of the city, but you know, I thought about what about acid and rain and like you know all the pollution that goes up in the atmosphere then it rains. But you know, at least, who knows what, what if he would have bought water from you know, from a fossil be. So I thought it was pretty cool. I mean, it rains anyway, and you know, I have a drone like that. I was thinking about doing that as well. He also had a system design where it would just leak from one one. Uh, one drum to another. Oh, I missed wow, I might get some coffee. But yeah, I thought it was cool. I thought it was really cool, you know, just so innovative and it's like, you know, it, it was just practical and, you know, he was just like, you know, like he felt like, you know, he, he understood that. He came from a place where, you know, it, it was natural to him that, you know, uh, natural rainwater was probably the best. You know? And, um, as far as mint growing, I would love to grow my own mint. I think we got spearmint in the back. It just didn't have that good scent. I really want the authentic mint, just to have that minty taste. There's a different variations of them. There's different, the different kinds. But uh, lemons, that's what I want to grow. My own little lemon tree, you know. And uh, I haven't had lemons in a while. It must have been ooh, weeks, not even months. I was looking at. I was. I was gonna ask him the size. Actually, I didn't even want to ask. Uh, lemon and honey. You know, that's so good. Just so many good benefits for that. Imagine like, in a place where you know they're trying not, they're trying to fight for you to be agitated. Presumably they care, which they don't. They want you to be angry and stressed. You know, if they really care, uh, a little lemon and honey would go a long way. You know, especially like at certain hours, just to relax you, because it is a relaxant. You know, it's a natural relaxant, especially any kind of tea relaxes you. So any kind of how about herbal tea for anti-anxiety. I mean, you know, you could label it Hellenistic. You could think it's a joke, but you know. Well, you're going to pop a pill for that. You know, you're going to pop a pill, then you're going to drop it on the floor, and you're just going to get high. Pretty much what that, all that is. You know, you just want to get intoxicated. Uh, but when you go through anxiety, you know, you really want something. You, you don't like, especially when it lasts and lasts. Uh, it's an awful feeling, you know. You feel, like, you feel it in your chest. It's scary. Just, again, people just being negligent, manipulating something that, you know, could be done in a right way. Like a you know unit to to help people with with, with mental disorders, but it's clear it's not the case. But on and on, going off on a tangent again. I gotta fix Froggy and uh, then I get a Wawa coffee. I haven't had one in a while. Could have it at home. 
Third cup today, but you know what? Dunkin' <laughs> Dunkin' Donuts is like three dollars now. Ah, that inflation. Joe Biden must do something. <laughs> oh, Tesla. We're all charging, guys, huh? <laughs> Want to watch a YouTube video? Can I hang out? He's <laughs> gonna be part of the, you know, the community. <laughs> gracias, gracias. Alrighty. In second. So, um, what was I saying? Yeah, coffee is ridiculous. <laughs> um, yeah, just about how natural things could ease you, and there is evidence that. It, and they, they say there's no concrete evidence about that. And because everybody's different and, you know, the tests are inconclusive and everybody's biology and, you know, is different to a certain degree. But there's different things that could work for you. There is, you know, uh, uh, exercise does help you, with sh help you with stress. Eventually might reduce anxiety as well, you know. So, uh, it just, you know, you got to take, I think you got to just take life in your, own, in your own hands. You know, you can't be pointing out this and that in a place where it should install that. Well, they just, you know, they, they're obviously doing the opposite. They want to torture and, you know, uh, uh, hurt people. But they look at you like you're a weirdo when you're doing something that probably, you know, someone ch does that and it will take it to another level and let's see like a kung fu movie, you know. But um, time to get the coffee.